The question is, where do you think fat goes when you lose weight? Hmm. When you use a bathroom? Do you like sweat out maybe? Fat is made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. The reality is it's actually coming out through your Ray, the question is, where do you think fat goes when you lose weight? Hmm, uh, when you use the bathroom? Hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. Um, do you like sweat out maybe when you work out? I need Reese's Puffs. So when I eat Reese's Puffs, they usually go right to my obliques. Oh, uh, let's see. Well, I think it leads through the muscle. Basically, when you do sit-ups or any type of calisthenics, it sort of stretches and makes sort of like a muscle in my eyes. I don't know. All right, what's up, everybody? It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. And today, we're asking the question, where does fat go? So when we lose fat, it's a very common fitness goal. A lot of us are trying to lean out, show muscle, show abs, but do you ever wonder where it actually goes when you lose weight? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna answer that question today. So the first thing we need to know in thinking about where fat goes is we need to know what fat is. So I'm going to draw a fat molecule on the board. I'm gonna show you guys some reactions and equations, and we're gonna actually tell you guys and show you guys something new today and teach you where it goes. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, so what is fat? Fat is made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And what I have on the board right here is an example of what fat looks like. C55, H104, O6. That is the average molecule of what the average human adipose um, triglyceride looks like. So the question is, when we lose fat, where does it go? Well, when we lose fat, what's actually happening is the fat is breaking down via oxidation. Oxidation, all that means is that oxygen is being exposed to that chemical and it's breaking down into carbon dioxide, water, and heat. So I'm gonna draw out that reaction for you guys and describe further where fat actually goes. All right, so let's look at the chemistry behind fat loss. So what I have on the board here is the basic oxidation reaction for fat being converted into carbon dioxide and water. So I'm going to balance out the stoichiometry, if you guys remember some basic high school chemistry, to make sure I have the same number of moles of each atom on both sides of my equation because we all know that matter is not created. Mass is conserved. <laughs> Conservation of matter. All right, so now the reality is it's not this simple. This arrow right here represents a ton of biochemistry that I am not gonna get into for the sake of this video because it overcomplicates things and takes away from the point of the end result of the reaction. So we're not gonna talk about Krebs cycle, citric acid cycle, we're not gonna go into that because the reality is we wanna know where does it go. So let's say, for example, you have 10 kilograms of fat on your body and let's say you lose 10 kgs of fat. I'm gonna to explain to you how that fat is converted and what it actually ends up as. So if we had 10 kilograms of fat, we would need a total of 29 kilograms of oxygen and then this would actually break down into 8.4 kilograms of CO2, which is carbon dioxide, and 1.6 kilograms of water. So what does that mean? That means that fat is actually being broken down into carbon dioxide and water, but uh, when fat is lost, over 84% of it is leaving your body in the form of CO2. So what's that mean? Like, when you exhale, that is part of the fat oxidation process. Only 16% of the fat that is being lost through your body is actually excreted in the form of water. So for those of you who saw in the beginning of this video when we asked people, maybe it's coming out through sweat, maybe it's coming out through muscle, maybe it's coming out in the bathroom, the reality is it's actually coming out through your breath. So 
Thank you for tuning in. Check out GageGirlTraining.com and please subscribe to the channel to learn more and more about science and nutrition.